Okay, and now for something a little bit more sedate, the Tempo Topaz. Joyce, how do they look? Well, not as wild as those cars we just saw. I hope not. But still unusual. Do you know, John, that it took Ford four years after GM came out with their X-Body and two years after Chrysler came out with their K-Cars to finally unveil Detroit's worst kept secret, uh -huh. the Ford Tempo and the Mercury Topaz. Now, these are what they're calling their front-wheel drive international size cars. And what that is is that's what we used to call compact. Now, this international basically is front-wheel drive with a wheelbase of about 100 inches. I think it was easier to say compact. You're right. Well, anyway, they give you the same room as the old midsize, but the Tempo Topaz is replacing the Ford Futura and the Mercury Zephyr, which has been the midsize standby since about 1978. Now, their floor pan shares the major components of the Ford Escort, but the notchback will have fully independent all-around suspension and space and weight-saving McPherson struts. Now, what that means is you're going to get a lot more rear passenger space and a lot more trunk space. Interesting. But well, what's new under the hood? A brand new engine that they're calling the Penta. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a 2.3 liter four-cylinder with a slow revving pushrod design. Pushrods. Right. Okay. Now, later on, you'll see a fuel injection and probably a diesel. Now, I have driven these prototypes, and I'll tell you, that 90 horsepower really moves them along. What's going to be the basic transaxle? A four-speed? Yes, and they'll also have an automatic and a five-speed overdrive manual available. And you're going to see mileage in the upper 30s. What about body style choices? Well, at first, there's going to be two, because mm -hmm. Ford is really going after that sedan market. And they'll have two and four-door styling. And you know, it really resembles that new European Ford Sierra. Because if you take a look, you'll see that they have very rounded fenders, mm -hmm. and the doors are extending all the way to the roof, then sharply raking glass. It's really a very international-looking American Ford. Now, the front of both models have a variation of the rounded wedge grille. The Ford Tempo is going to have three widely spaced slots in the front. Now, Mercury Topaz is going to be much more traditional, and they have five ribbed grills in the front. Now, that's supposed to make it look a lot more expensive. <laughs> well, anyway, they are also going to have different ta tail lights. They'll mm -hmm. be much more vertical. That's the Mercury version. That's the Mercury version. Plus, the Mercury will have four side windows to Tempo 6. That's all well and good, but do they have anything with a little more flash? <laughs> yes, they do. That's going to come from the two-door sedans uh, okay. that Ford's going to be offering. Now, they'll have a specialized paint and trim and a GLX version. And, you know, that could include a sport package, which is going to give you TRX tires, mm -hmm. cast aluminum wheels, and a special handling package. But, Joyce, let me ask you something. Aren't these cars so different looking that they might scare off a lot of the traditional Ford buyers that went after the Fairmont and the Zephyr before? That's a really good point. I mean, if you look at these cars, you know that mm -hmm. Ford is looking for a younger buyer. Mm -hmm. You know, I think they expect their older clientele to opt for their new downsized LTD. I see. What about price? Well, price is going to be about six and a half grand for the baseline, and that's the same as those bottom line GMXs and the Chrysler Ks. Mm. Uh, certainly looks like the competition in the international size car market is heating up. Thanks, Joyce. Keep us up to date.